Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures this afternoon got up into the lower and mid 20s and even not even the 20s, 17 in Anago, a very cold start to the weekend when our normal high should be about 20 degrees warmer of 42 and a record high 72. Perhaps some of you at home were wishing it was that warm and it was many other locations in the Midwest dealing with well below average temperatures. Teens in Fargo, International Falls, 20s in Minneapolis, Sioux Falls, Detroit and Chicago as well dealing with the well below average temperatures running between 10 to 20 degrees below normal. We've got more cold air in the forecast, but we do have some slightly warmer temperatures on the way. Strong area of low pressure and a cold front bringing in a reinforcing shot of cold air. And because of that, we had these bands of snow showers rolling in that drop those visibilities under a fraction of a mile at times and produce a light dusting to half inch of accumulation. Now most of the snowfall is moving on to the other side of Lake Michigan. There's a cold front right there. Now our focus will turn into the very cold air as we wake up tomorrow morning. We're talking values down into the lower teens or even the single digits and that's without the wind chill. Wind chills likely below zero. So snow uh, showers still ongoing on the other side of Lake Michigan. We've got winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings extending all across those counties and even on the south shores of Lake Superior. And then there's another location that dealt with very substantial amount of snowfall just south of Buffalo. They have a little break right now before more snow starts to uh, wrap up and crank up once again. There are areas picking up between about 40 to over 70 inches of snowfall, and that was mainly just south of Boston. There are, excuse me, Buffalo. You can see these locations 77 inches in Orchard Park. That is more than six feet of snowfall. Imagine waking up in the morning, opening up the door, and you just see you can't even see the roof of your car. Now, with the cold air, we have lots of snow across the lower 40 and you can see across Wisconsin, everyone has at least a little bit of light snowfall. Maybe that's helping you deer hunters out there to track those deer and perhaps uh, get a, a lucky shot. As for us this evening, most of that snow starting to wind down. We can't rule out a possible flurry overnight into tomorrow morning, but most of us will probably just be dealing with mostly clear skies. Then for tomorrow, a mixture of sun and cloud cover as we have additional slight chance of a few flurries, but overall not too shabby of a day. But as we wake up tomorrow morning, you'll want to bundle up, especially perhaps heading out to church in the morning or if you're going to the deer stands. We're expecting temperatures in the single digits. Then you factor in the winds and we'll be dealing with wind chills well below zero. Probably the coldest wind chills so far this season before we rebound a little bit, but still a cold day nonetheless tomorrow as we'll have uh, temperatures in the mid 20s and we'll uh, hopefully warm up by later next week as we get closer towards Thanksgiving. Eight for the overnight low winds out of the west 10 to 15 gusts near 20, making it feel slightly below zero. Then for tomorrow, upper 20s for highs winds out of the southwest 10 to 15 gusts near 25. Seven day forecast calls for warmer temperatures back into the 30s. Crazy that we're probably getting excited for these values when we had the 70s not too long ago in early November. Some lower 40s on Wednesday. Another system though starts to move in here as you head towards Thanksgiving. Looks like a chance of some light rain showers later Thursday night into Friday. Maybe a little wintry mix and let's look at your forecast. 209